Hi everyone. In this lecture, we are going to start a new topic that is radiation resistance. Since we know that whenever we supply a uh, power to an input terminal of an antenna, then we can say that most of the power is being radiated by an antenna. But there is some amount of power that is being lost due to the conduction losses, or we can say that dielectric losses. And the radiation resistance basically focuses on the power dissipation by an antenna. So, a radiation resistance is a hypothetical resistance which is used to express the power dissipation in it. So, the amount of power that is dissipated in an antenna will be focused only by an radiation resistance. Now, if we talk about the power radiated by an input terminal of an antenna, then first look at this figure. Here is an structure of an antenna and this is the input terminal and this is the output terminal. Here at the input terminal, the power that is P input is being supplied to this antenna and the antenna will radiate in this direction and the power that is being radiated by an antenna will be given as P radiated. So this is the radiated power by an antenna. If we write down the expression for the P input that is the input power supplied to an antenna then it will be equal to half mod of I input square in multiplication with R input. Here I input is nothing but the input current that is supplied to an antenna and R input is nothing but the input resistance at the input terminal of an antenna. Since we know that all the power that is supplied to an antenna is not radiated ideally. So it is not an ideal case. Here all the input power is not radiated ideally and some amount of power is being lost by a structure of an antenna. That's why if we talk about the total input power then it will be equal to the sum of radiated power and the power losses in the structure of an antenna due to conduction as well as dielectric losses. Since the total power input can be represented by P input whereas the radiated power or the power radiated by an antenna is represented by P radiated that is here and if we talk about the power losses then it is being represented by P losses that's why we can say that P input will be equal to the sum of P radiated plus P losses. Now since we know that the expression for the input power that is being supplied to an antenna is given as half into I square R. So simply substituting the value of P input in this expression. So here is half mod of I input square in multiplication with R input. Similarly, if we write down the expression for the power radiated by an antenna, then it will be equal to half I square radiated in multiplication with R radiated. And similarly, if we write down the expression for the losses, then it will be equal to half I square losses into R losses. Since we know that the input current that will be equal to the radiated current and the radiated losses of current. That's why simply replacing the value of I radiated and I losses with the I input, we can easily write this expression. So here in the LHS, this whole term will be written as it is. But in the RHS, we will simply replace the value of I radiated by I input and I losses by I input. Now if we take this I input as a common factor then it will be equal to half mod of I input square R input on taking this half mod of I input as a common we can say that here the term remaining is the R radiated and here is the remaining term will be R losses. So R radiated plus R losses. So on comparing the LHS side and the RHS side, this half will get cancelled out with this half and this I input square will get cancelled out with this term. So simply we will get R input that will be equal to the sum of 
are edited and are losses so this is the input resistance so the input resistance is equals to the sum of radiation resistance and the loss resistance and this is all about the radiation resistance of an antenna if you like my content then do subscribe my channel and please hit the like button thank you